This morning, family attorneys for a man shot and killed by a corrections officer are set to speak out and demand justice for the death of their loved one. Fox 7 Austin's Kelly Sibury joins us live in San Marcos with that story. Kelly, what do we know? Yeah, we're talking about lawyers that have defended in cases like that of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd. One of those lawyers is Ben Crump, who's going to be here later today, who's going to be speaking out, demanding that the body camera footage and surveillance video from this event be released. The event we're talking about happened mid-December. We previously reported that Joshua Wright was an inmate in the Hayes County Jail who was getting treatment um, in a hospital in Kyle when they say he tried to escape and was shot and killed there. Wright was in Hayes County Jail for the following charges, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, bail jumping, failure to appear, reckless driving, criminal mischief, and evading arrest and detention. The Hayes County Sheriff's Office said the 36-year-old was getting undisclosed medical treatment at Seton Hospital in Kyle. We're told Wright assaulted a corrections officer and ran through the emergency room. The corrections officer fired a shot hitting Wright, leading to his death. The officer involved was placed on administrative leave as per protocol. Clee a law enforcement advocacy group says they believe Wright had access to medical instruments and could have used these as weapons. It's my understanding that he attacked the deputy, uh, hit him in the throat and, uh, and physically attacked him and then made his way toward uh, these potential uh, weapons that could have been used uh, against uh, patients and uh, nurses and, and, and medical staff there. We're expecting the press conference from the family's lawyers today in San Marcos at noon. Reporting live in San Marcos, Kelly Saberi, Fox 7 Austin News.